This is Streamline News for Monday, December 6, 2010, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Mike Alexandrov broke two American records this weekend at the USA Swimming Short Course Yards Nationals. He started things off by breaking his own American record in the 100 breaststroke in Friday's finals. Alexandrov's time was 51.36, which was two-tenths faster than the record he had set at the 2007 NCAA Championships. At that same meet, Alexandrov was disqualified in the prelims of the 200 breast, losing out on a shot at Brendan Hansen's record. But on Saturday, Alexandrov swam a clean 200, and he broke the American record by one hundredth of a second with a 151.73. In both races last weekend, Alexandrov had stiff competition from teammate Clark Burkle, who was the NCAA champion in the 200 breast last March. Burkle was just a few tenths off record pace in both races, swimming lifetime best times in both events. Katika Hasu nearly became the second woman to break the four-minute barrier in the 400 IM on Friday, winning the event at Nationals with a 4003. Currently, Julia Smith is the only one to have dipped under four minutes with her American record swim last February at the Pac-10 Championships. Hasu was also impressive in the 200 fly, winning with a 151.45 to become the second fastest performer behind Elaine Breeden. Alexandrov and Hasu will be competing next week at World Championships, so we'll see how they do when they step up on the blocks against the best in the world. Many expected Ryan Lochte to clean up at Nationals even though he wasn't fully rested, but Lochte came away from, Clum from Columbus with only one win in the 200 IM and a couple of top three finishes in other events. He was touched out in the 200 free by teammate Rex Tullius and was third in the 200 backstroke. Nathan Adrian will be at the World Championships as well, but before he headed for Dubai, he put up some fast yards times that sent a message to his collegiate competition. As we told you on Friday, Adrian swam a 19 flat in the 50 free, and on Saturday he was second in the 100 free with a 41.63. That time is just a tenth off his winning time from the NCAAs. Matt Grievers looks like he's bouncing back from a somewhat disappointing summer season. Grievers won the 100 fly, 100 back, and 100 free in meet record time almost break, breaking Ryan Lochte's American record in the 100 back with a 44-82. We've been keeping tabs on the incredible freshman season Vlad Morozov is having working with Dave Salo at Southern Cal. The male high school swimmer of the year for Swimming World Magazine continues to make a name for himself, racing the 100 free three times on Saturday at Nationals and posting lifetime bests with each swim. In his third swim, he led off Southern Cal's 400 free relay with a 42.06 they put him second in the collegiate ranks. More top swims took place in Austin, Texas at the Texas Invitational. Maggie Meyer of Wisconsin posted a 151.59 to win the 200 back, which is her best time and the fastest swim in the country. Laura Sogar started the season swimming fast in the 200 breaststroke, breaking the school record in the events twice already this season. She did it again on Saturday in the 200 breast, swimming a 207.43 in the prelims. That is just a few tenths slower than the winning time from NCAAs last March. Sogar also won the 100 breasts in 59.07, which is the second fastest college time this season behind Jillian Tyler's 58.78 from Nationals. Corey Chitwood of Arizona began his quest to defend his national title in the 200 back with a 141.07 victory in Austin. It's the only swim under 142 so far this season, though about two seconds slower than the time he swam in March to win the NCAA title. David Badaya has not lost a diving competition all season, and he was in no danger of snapping his unbeaten streak last weekend in Austin, beating Texas's Drew Livingston by an average of 54 points in the three diving events. The Purdue junior was most dominant in his best event, the 10-meter platform, though his score of 537.65 was off his American record performance that he posted last summer to become the first American to score more than 600 points. Texas and Ohio weren't the only places to find fast swimming last weekend. Amanda Weir swam a 2192 in the 50-yard freestyle at the Gator Invite in Florida. She's the only person to have swum under 22 seconds this season. And Weir backed it up later with a 4768 in the 100 freestyle. And we'll see her in action next week at the Short Course World Championships. And across the ocean in France, Yannick Agnel made a statement in the 200 and 400 short course meters freestyles at the French Nationals. Agnel's 141.96 in the 200 free and 339.91 in the 400 are the second fastest times in the world, but only a few inches behind the top times. 
Sebastian Ruo also swam a top time in the 800 freestyle in 739.96, and Camille Mufad, mostly known as an individual medley swimmer, is now the fastest in the world in the women's 400 free with her 359.15. Now, December used to be known as a month when swimming ground to a halt for holiday training, but we had lots of competitions over the weekend, and you can read all about them in our World and College channels at SwimmingWorld.com. The USC Trojans made it a three-peat in water polo national titles on Sunday, defeating the Cal Berkeley Bears 12-10 in overtime. Peter Kurzeka, who you can see there in the photo on the left, was voted the MVP of the tournament and provided two key goals for the Trojans in the final. First, he tied the game at 10-all in regulation with a penalty shot, then scored the first of two overtime goals for USC. Matt Burton, who's there on the, on the right, was a guest on the Morning Swim Show recently, and he scored the final goal of the tournament to seal the championship for USC. So congratulations to the Trojans. That's Streamline News for today. We'll see you next time.